our study of evil, and we are on misery, pain, and suffering, in which today, Lord willing, we're going to finish this up, and then we'll move on to the protection. We're closing up on pain, misery, and suffering. This is the 34th video, 34th uh, message in the series. And you know what? You need all 34 in this lesson about evil. Jonah 1-7. Jonah 1-7. And let me say right off the bat, as you turn to Jonah 1-7. I believe Jonah died, and Jonah went to hell, and he resurrected out of hell. As Jesus said, as Jonah was in the belly of the whales three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be in, the, in the, the heart of the earth three days and three nights. I believe with my heart, with my conviction, if you don't believe Jonah died and went to hell, you are the sinner. Want to make that statement? Jonah 1 7. And they said, Everyone to his fellow, come and let us cast lot, draw store, straw, the black ball. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That we may know for we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots, and a lot fell upon Jonah. Jonah got in trouble. And what is the evil? It's loss, it's broken ship, and violent weather. They've had to throw the merchandise to what they make money. The ship broke apart. It's a violent storm because of Jonah. You know, in America today, we're getting many storms that are, that are coming. We've had the most named hurricane storms in 2020 is it for a reason of a person no it's a re reason of people and their sin jonah sinning against god rebellion against god went the complete opposite direction where god wanted to do and god sent the storm and there are storms are evil because they can do vicious things, tornadoes, hurricanes, sandstorms, rain. This storm was caused by a sinner. I believe the storms are going to hit America and I don't think 2020 is going to end. I think it's going to be even worse, 2021, until the Lord calls this church home. And then it's going to get even worse with the Antichrist. But a misery, suffering, and sorrow, and pain can be caused by an evil called weather. And Satan can control the weather. Job chapter 1, he sent the whirlwind that, that killed Job's children. He sent the fire from the sky to kill Job's uh, animals. God and man can control, I mean, God and the devil can control weather. And it can be an evil. Luke 16, 25. Luke 16, 25. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest good, good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented, and he's tormented in hell. The poor man that did not get enjoyment of the, as the rich man's life got enjoyment. The poor man, Lazarus, had, had sores and the dog licked his sore and he ate from the crumbs of the table of the rich man. It is completely opposite of Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 2. He had to eat the crumbs from the garbage of the rich man and his own medical supply. It seems, and cares, were unclean dogs to Jewish people to lick his sword. He got less from what the rich man got. 
The rich man never helped the poor man. And what is the evil that Lazarus got living on the earth? He got less in life than another man. He was, an, he was a beggar. He got no medical care. He got no, no food where he could go out and work and bring food in. Listen, he done right. He ended up in Abraham's bosom. I think many saved and many lost people, the saved at the judgment seat of Christ and the lost people at the great white throne judgment, I think they're going to find the charge of evil that somebody in their acquaintance got less than what they got and were not treated fairly. That in the eyes of God, that person, we are richer, though we may not be rich in wealth, that we are richer that poor man, and we didn't do a thing to help them out. And their evil was, they got less than what we got. The Bible says we're to help our enemies. We're to help the poor. We're to love the brethren. We're to pray for the brethren. We're to weep with those that weep and rejoice with those that rejoice. The less fortunate. Acts 7, 6. And God spake on this wise, that his seeds should sojourn in a strange land, and they that should bring them into bondage and entreat them evil 400 years. Read Exodus 1, 13, 14, and verse 16. This is the treatment we discussed from Exodus chapter 1. The brutal treatment that Egyptians treated their Hebrew slaves. There was suffering, there was pain, sorrow, and even death by the hands of the government. Don't give me the nonsense in America what the white man did to the color man in slavery. When you bring into account what did the color man do to God's people in the book of Exodus in Egypt. Why don't we ever talk about them? You may not like what I, have, what I say. You may call it prejudicial and all that. Why don't we have... J-L-M, Jewish Lives Matter. H-L-M, Hebrew Lives Matter. G-P-L-M, God's People Lives Matter. There, there are people in America today, African Americans, they want us to pay them for what happened to their grandparents, grandparents, grandparents. All right? Why don't we put that same charge to the, Af to the African, say, we want you to pay every Jew for what you did to their grandparents, 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 in the time and before Moses. You want, you want something for what was done to your, your previous generations, all right? You Africans, we want you to provide for the generations of the Hebrews. And the mistreatment of God's people. And there would be, no, 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 we can't, no, not that. That black lives matter is prejudicial because there's no white lives matter, there's no police lives matter, there's no Puerto Rican lives matter, there's no uh, German lives matter. There's no Polish lives matter. There's no Mexican lives matter. But there's only one race of people. 
And the history books do not teach in the public school system. They do not teach about there was slavery in Egypt and it was slavery of the Africans and they had the, e the Hebrews, the children of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, they had them to be their slave. And they served with rigor. And the evil is the bondage, the pain, the suffering, and the sorrow, and the death. While God's people were slaves in Africa. And we saw earlier last week the evil of murdering of Jews, Esther 8, 6. Here's the evil of the Jews being slaves, being tortured, being caused to sorrow, and being caused to death. L listen, the death order went for every male baby that was born to be drowned. Acts 7.19. Acts 7.19. They don't like when you pull out the, let's pull out the facts. Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Why has no Bible believer stood up with this nonsense of the American slavery of the, of the African American? Why has no Bible preacher like me stood up and said, hey, what about what you did to the Hebrews? Let me quote Exodus. Acts 7.19 The same dealt subtly with our kindred, and evil entreated our fathers, so that they cast out their young children to the end that might not live. The order of the, of the babies, of the Hebrew boys, the Hebrew children, to be murdered. Did that happen in American slavery? Did the slave owner and the plantation owners in America, did they order, did the government, did the president of the United States or the governors of said states, did they order the ex execution of slavery children? Egypt did. Pharaoh did. And it's recorded black and white in the Bible, the King James Bible, the Geneva Bible, the Word of God recorded by Jehovah, recorded by the Holy Spirit. In Africa and Egypt, they were murdering the Hebrew children. And the misery, the evil here is the misery to the mothers and families of the dead children. The suffering is not only the death of the male Hebrew males, but the misery it caused to the mothers and the family of the dead Hebrew boys. Do you think the parents and the children and the brothers and sisters, do you think they took it lightly when their baby boy, their baby brother, was cast into the Nile River and killed? You didn't say, you, you don't tell me that did not have consequences of anxiety and, and and sorrow and misery that didn't cause emotional stress and that's where we close now with pain suffering and misery Men suffer. Men have sorrow since Genesis chapter 3. The first sorrow was cast upon the woman. And then there's pain. The very first pain that you would assume happened to Eve, you know, you assume it, when she gave birth to her two children. 
There may be pain that happened beforehand, but it's not recorded in the scriptures. We would assume that Abel had suffering and pain as his brother was killing him. And it goes all the way back to Genesis chapter 3. Suffering and pain is evil. And it may be caused by God. It may be caused by the devil. We may cause our own pain and sorrow and suffering. Or it may be caused by someone else. And we may have pain and sorrow as a result of somebody else's actions and not our own. Why we're studying. Evil is a consequence. Evil can be sin, but it's not always sin. There is pain and suffering when the, when the idiot goes out and he's been drinking, he's intoxicated, and he gets behind the wheel of the car. And he causes pain, misery, sorrows, and death to someone else who he hits while intoxicated. And we've got the legalization of marijuana to make it worse. And I read after elect the day after election, I forget what state. I, uh, I, I'm not gonna, I forget what state. I'd be wrong if I said a state. But there's a state that said or legalized the use of hard drugs such as heroin. These babies in Egypt didn't do nothing wrong, and yet they had evil done to them. They died. Aren't you glad there's a judgment seat of Christ and there's a great white throne judgment where God will make all justice and equity and judgment correct? Except under the blood of Jesus Christ, you will, they will get their just desserts. Bible says, Prepare to meet thy God. 